Dog, oh, he's so cute. This is officially my pet now. Wouldn't that make more sense if you had him in dino mode? <laughs> Say that one more time, I'm gonna scramble an egg on your face. It will burn! In the final season of Transformers Cyberverse, or Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures, subtitled Dinobots Unite, the destruction-loving slug joined the cast with the other Dinobots. A deluxe figure was made, and he was the last deluxe-class Cyberverse figure to be released. Slug transforms into a stylized potato with horns and limbs. Very faithful to his original, with a few changes that makes it exciting. Yes, he's a deluxe again, but Cyberverse characters were roughly near the same height mostly. I think the gray has yellowed, but now it looks rustic. I kind of like it. He retains the gold and red as the iconic colors, but they're thrown more throughout the figure. I love the spikes and thick limbs that make his profile less potato-y. I like the tail that curves to the side, large frail, solid face, opening mouth, blue eyes, and slightly transparent horns. I like the smooth top and how the hands tuck in for the little toes. The limbs are posable enough with the limited hip, and the guns plug on top with blast effects, as well with the axe that slides in to be stored or add extra firepower. This is a cute little Dinobot that certainly fits as an update to the little spuddy beast we've known. Robot mode. Hack that drop talk. Potato Frill continues to fascinate me as both an equal classic and update with the colors bringing in more of the gold to the legs and arms. I would prefer the Autobot logo to be painted, but that's a nice twist on the jaw sculpt. There's also a ton of savage spikes jetting out. I like the round torso, rigid center, and small chunky boots, but the best part has to be behind the head hoodie with the tilted horns and frill that sits on the back. Such an exciting and welcome twist. The head looks like a barbarian doe, but if you're not into red heads, well, this one isn't. Did someone say? Articulation! Ball joint head, ball joint shoulders, elbow bend, rotation below waist, rotation, ball joint hips, rotation below hinge knee, foot forward, and tilt. Posability is fine enough getting by with using ball joints and large flat feet to stand. If you want, you can lift the torso for an ab thing. Let's take a look at the accessories. He has a double barrel blaster with spikes on the back and a porthole on top. You can attach the other weapon or use it as a sweet transparent hatchet. There's also an included blast effect which looks like a bad and bloody sneeze. This is a nice and chunky downabot. It's small being a deluxe, but for the series I don't think that's a flaw, and I think it actually benefits as a tiny little ball of rage. It might slip through the cracks as it was the last Cyberverse Deluxe, but this makes for a pretty good desk toy. It's as cute as dangerous as a fat otter.